Oh, look at that lovely light. It's so good, isn't it? Oh, wait there, I've got a wobble. Got a wobble in my camera. So I am not at home, as you can see. If you remember, I said I was coming to my friend's wedding. It's on an island called Osi Island. And um, this is the island that the film, The Woman in Black, the Daniel Radcliffe film, it was filmed on this island. The sooner the house is sold, the sooner people can move on. So I watched that a few weeks ago and thought, I'm not going to that island. I'm, knowing me, you know, there's always one person that gets killed at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully that won't happen. And I'm going to take you around and show you what I get up to while I'm here for my friend Rich and Emily's wedding. Hello again. So I'm just out for a little wonder and I'm just having a look around O.C. Island. Um, and now, as, as I said to you earlier, the film Woman in Black was filmed here. So, you know, it has these little creepy areas that I think the gay, the gay guy is going to get killed in. But um, hopefully that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, so let me tell you a bit about Rich. So as a lot of you will remember Rich is my friend from 15 years and when I first met Rich he was going out with another friend of mine Emily who you also know you've seen Emily um, and he's now marrying another Emily I know it gets very complicated but um, yeah so Rich and I knew each other through Emily and I never really thought oh we're going to become great friends but do you know to be here is I'm feeling emotional already and it's not until tomorrow but for me to be here is massive. I've struggled a lot over the last four months, a lot more than I've let on to people and um, I kept saying as long as I get to Rich and Emily's wedding and now I'm here and um, I'm just so happy for them. Hey everyone, so it's starting to get later on in the day. Um, it's early evening now and it's starting to get a, a bit, just a bit quieter and well, uh, anything's quiet, you know, compared to London, but it's just, there's a very beautiful but spooky stillness to this place. Um, it's just, the, there's no noise, there's no normal noise, what I would class as normal noise. And now all you hear is just the noise of the birds and, you know, the occasional plane overhead or something like that. But nothing, nothing like the normal cars and um, people and that, that I'm very used to. So it's, 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 it's very, very beautiful. There's no lights on the island at night, street lights and things. So tonight is gonna to be interesting because we've all been told to bring torches. So you know me in the dark, we're not friends. So if this is the last time you ever see me, please remember me fondly. As you can see behind me now, there was a causeway there earlier on and that's where we drove over when we came. But now it's gone. It's completely underwater. It's amazing, isn't it? Nature. I'm not a, I, I never watch these nature programs because I can't handle seeing animals getting killed. I'm a big wuss. Uh, I know that, you know, it's the circle of life, but, um, oh, Lion King reference. Um, yeah, but I know it's the circle of life and I know it has to happen, but 
So I never watch all these amazing programs that are done about wildlife and about nature, but this just makes you go, whoa. It just make, reminds you of, of what we have in this world. It's like, whoa, I won't swear then. <laughs> but um, now later on tonight, I'm probably not gonna be saying, whoa, I'm probably gonna be saying, don't leave me alone here. Because although it's beautiful, it's so quiet. It's so still. I've got to get the colour of that sky behind me. Oh, I don't know if it's going to pick up. Uh, so, yes. Just me feeling all amazed by nature and amazed by the world and how beautiful it can be. Yeah. God, makes you think, doesn't it? So, light is fading fast, but I wanted to bring you back to here because actually this this here is the road that we drove across to get onto OC Island so it's completely submersed once the tide comes in goes out comes in um, it's completely submersed so you can't get off the island you've had it oh but um yeah look at that So I'm going to start walking back to the apartments because it's about a 20 minute walk and it's getting dark and I only have my camera with me, my phone with me. And you know how these horror films always happen, you know, somebody's walking back, the, the camera runs out, the, the battery runs out and then you hear noises in the bushes and... <coughs> Hey everyone, so it's the day of the wedding. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I didn't get killed last night. No scary things came out of the bushes to attack me. So I'm just getting ready. I'm partly naked at the moment, so I won't lower the camera anymore to get me banned off YouTube and also scare anybody that's watching. And I'm just gonna put the camera down there. Yeah, so I'm wearing my kilt. So it's a job to get into a kilt. It, it, it is, if you haven't done it for a while, it, it takes time. So I'm gonna get myself into my kilt and then I will show you the before and the after. I'm now, I'm now all kitted out. I'm exhausted. It takes time and energy to put on a kilt. It really does. So um, let me give you a quick... That's really bad, sorry, I'm, I'm using my phone. So uh, it's difficult to give you the full outfit but um yes i am all kitted out and yes i am a true scotsman and if you know what that means well then you know what that means okay time to go to a wedding obviously because of their privacy i am not gonna include the wedding but i will definitely get some photos and do a photo montage and yeah you can you can follow what i'm doing and what i'm getting up to today well, most of it anyway. <laughs> Do without you, you make. 
Hey everybody, so it is the morning after the night before and I don't know how to describe the wedding except to say that it was epic. It really was. It was one of the best weddings I have ever been to. And it's been raining today but now the sun is coming out um, as we're getting ready to leave the island. So, um, so yeah, um, oh. Gosh, yeah, it was so good to see Rich and Emily get married and it was very special for me to be here. Um, just to close this video, I know that I've talked to you about the operation that I am waiting to have on my stomach. Well, I have a date at last. So the operation is gonna be done on the 28th of October, all being well. And um, yeah, so hopefully, there will be some improvement in my stomach issues and um, complaints. So yeah, I'm hoping, keeping positive for that. I will do one more video before that in two weeks time, but um, yeah, that's about it. So I would love to hear your comments on this video. As always, I would love to just hear from you. It's great to get your comments and um, you can let me know what you thought of this break that I had on OC Island for my friend Richard and Emily's wedding. So just to finish with, I just want to say, wish all the best to Richard and Emily. Um, you're wonderful people and I love you both. See you later everybody, take care. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old.